Okay, once you have everything masked up and covered, then the next step is going to be to take a gray scotch pad. And what I'm going to do with this gray scotch pad is scuff the whole panel that I want to paint. And what I'm doing is by me using this gray scotch pad and scuffing it, I want to remove all the existing clear coat off. Once I um, remove the existing clear coat off, that will give the paint something to adhere to. In some cases, you need to use um, adhesion promoter, um, which will help the paint stick. But in this case, it's already a painted panel. I want to remove all the existing clear, because if I was to paint this now, with it already being cleared, it will not stick and it will smudge off. So what I'm going to do is sand it till it's not shining no more, removing all the existing clear coat. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into transferring your image. Now, there's several techniques in the transferring your image. You can use um, a projector, surreal paper, masking paper, freehand, stencils. There's all kinds of techniques. First, uh, you want to make sure you have a good reference picture. And the theme of the trash can is going to be an American flag. With a um, soldier, a uh, sunset with a jet, uh, the president of the United States, um, Barack Obama. And like I said, you want to make sure you have a good reference picture. In this case here, the technique I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, masking film. And I'm going to make the masking film into a stencil. That way I don't have to do any cutting where I can damage the um, container or whatever it is that you was painting. This here is masking film, and what I'm going to do is cut the masking film out and lay it over my picture. And masking film is a low tech film. So you don't worry about have to, having all that sticky adhesion on it. I'm using that Zacto blade. Be careful, these are very sharp. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and smooth it down. Just using a regular little squeegee. And you always want to go from the center out. Getting all the bubbles out of the um, masking film. Okay, what you have now is the picture behind masking film. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take another piece of masking film and lay it on top of this again. And what I'm doing this for, 
all together it's going to end up being three pieces of masking film on here. You want to have your picture, masking film, then you lay another piece of masking film on top of it. Then what you're going to do is come and cut your outline and all your key points out. And then once you have it all cut out, you take the third piece of masking film, lay it on top of um, these two, and then you will begin to peel it off and it makes it easier for it to lift off. And I will um, show you this technique. I'm going to go ahead and lay on the next piece of masking film. Cutting the excess off. Now what you have is your reference picture, a piece of masking film with another piece of masking film on top. And now you're going to go and cut out your key points and we'll go from there. I'm going to start by cutting the outline. You want to cut hard enough to um, go through but without cutting through everything. I say it works better if you have a light box, but you still can do it without one. Okay, now I'm going to finish going cutting all the key points and then we'll go from there. Okay, once you have it cut out, I don't know if y'all can see that, how it's almost cut out like a stencil. I'm going to lay another piece of masking film on here. Okay, what I'm about to do now is slowly remove it, separating the masking film. Now remember it's your, your um, picture first, which is on the bottom, then it's a piece of masking film another piece of masking film the one that you cut the stencil out on and then another piece of masking film almost like a sandwich masking film masking film then another piece and what you want to do is slowly peel it off and peel up the first two layers and that bottom layer is just because it'll make it easier to come off the um, masking film Okay, once you have your image, you're taking off your back part. I have a few white pieces still left on here, but I'm not worried about it because I'm all I'm doing is giving myself a stencil and I'm gonna lay out the white parts on it. So see how your picture comes off the back right there? You have one chance to get this right. So do not screw it up. Because if you do, <laughs> you're gonna have to do the whole thing over. So what it is, you get your image placed where you want it. And in my head, I already had it mapped out of how I want it. So I know I want this image right over here. You get one chance to do this and get it right. From the inside out. I'm about to do now is remove all the spots that I want to be white. As you see on my reference picture, 
have this is um brighter spots. I say I'm moving, removing all the spots that I want mapped out so I know where they are. Okay, now I'm gonna go and show you another technique on how to transfer your image. What I did is um, made a photocopy, a black and white photocopy of the president. And what I'm gonna do is cut the outline out with my Zacto blade. Okay, I have my picture cut out. And now what I'm gonna do is decide on placement. And I kind of figure I wanted it somewhere in this general area right here. Because I want it to be, I want the president to be right there at the front focus. So what I'm about to do now is cut little slits like here, 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 so that I can tape it down. What I have here is reducer and uh, white paint. And what I'm going to do is add some white paint and reduce it down, which is basically just thinning the paint out. So all I have is white paint and I want to reduce it down because what I'm going to do is just do a light fog with it. Okay, what I'm going to do is take regular tape and tape in these little parts that I cut out in its face. Okay, now that we have our picture taped up, the other pieces are exposed on the back. What I have here is carbon paper, and I'm gonna take a piece of carbon paper, and lay it flat, start my picture up, get them right where I want them, I'll figure right up in here. I'm going to slide my carbon paper behind it. What I'm going to do now is take an ink pen. trace my image. You want to use an ink pen because it make it come out better. And this is just to give me some guidelines. Alright, once you finish tracing your outline and getting it mapped out, what you want to do is go ahead and remove your carbon paper in your picture. As you can see, the image is on there. Can y'all see that? The image is lightly on there. And that's all you need to have it mapped out.